I mean, like I said, it gets warm, but so did my uh, my. I keep the numbers that keep eluding me. So do the 14 Pro. Anytime that you, you know you're charging something uh, on fast charge or you're updating a million apps all in a row, or you know, I I don't do things like you know do serious games on there or try and transfer you know a, a gigantic video to a Mac. Uh, I, I just do normal everyday stuff. And yeah, every iPhone gets a little warm when it does stuff, right? I don't think this one seems more hot than ever and i don't even have a case on it you know which i i don't know maybe the case maybe the fact it doesn't have a case means it doesn't overheat as much but uh it it doesn't i don't find it uncomfortable i haven't i've not found it like oh no it, my phone is so hot that it hurts i which feel is, like i'm incredibly skeptical whenever there's these stories about the, the device overheating that came out within the first week of the device releasing, because this is the same time that, you know, you're, you're just setting up your iPhone. It's installing all these apps, as you mentioned, <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. it's indexing, <laughs> it's indexing all the files. Your phone is doing a lot the first day you get it, especially yeah. if you're plugging it in and fast charging it. So if right. there's still reports of iPhones overheating next week or like a month from now, then I'll start to give credence to this uh, story, but I'm, that's an interesting I'm point for now. I saw a great video by iPhone Doe on YouTube, and he was saying that he thinks that it's the result of people using Instagram. And he did an example where he was monitoring the heat on his phone, and he was showing using different apps. It was warm, it was warm, it was warm. And then he loads Instagram, and poof, all of a sudden, the temperature starts skyrocketing and it starts going to like 100 degrees. But was that because he just installed Instagram for the first time, or... Was there a bug with the Instagram app? I, I don't have any issues with my phone overheating either. Like it did get hot when I was first setting it up. But since then, I haven't had a single instance where it's gotten really hot. Now, again, I haven't been using it very long. So maybe I'm not doing what people who have overheating phones are doing with their phones. Like maybe that's the problem. I don't know. But so far, it's been pretty normal. I would say it's gotten hotter than other phones that I've owned. But it wasn't so bad that it, was going to burn my fingertips off or something. Maybe I won the silicon lot lottery or maybe it has something to do with apps that people are using. I don't know. <laughs> Ming-Chi Kuo had a, had a tweet about this. He said that his survey indicates that the iPhone 15 Pro series over, overheating issues are unrelated to TSMC's advanced three nanometer. No, which some people were speculating that that was the problem is that these chips just got hotter uh, the primary cause, he says, is more likely the compromises made in the thermal system to achieve a lighter rate, a lighter weight, such as the reduced heat dissipation area and the use of t a titanium frame, which negatively impacts thermal efficiency. So maybe that's it. 